week two of the 555 challenge, we'll be doing a cardio workout. During the rest day of your 555 challenges, make sure that you do something that will truly rejuvenate you, um, something that you enjoy from reading a book, going for a walk, dancing, watching your favorite program. But don't forget that all of this is part of your balanced lifestyle. It's not about just completely obliterating yourself after a workout, but it's also energizing so that you enjoy life and you will stay consistent with having an active lifestyle. Before the workout, shout out to Kiara Hargrove who left a lovely comment on one of my previous videos. Make sure to warm up before any workout. I'll put a link below for warm up videos. Today's cardio workout comprises of five exercises with 30 seconds work and 10 seconds rest, and there's no equipment needed or body weight exercises. First up is the broad jump squat walking backwards. As you walk backwards, see how low you can go. are clap jacks. To make it low impact, step sideways instead of jumping. are inchworm shoulder taps to tuck jump now when you walk your hands in and do your shoulder taps see if you can try to keep your hips still exercise is plank knee to elbow then a kick through to make it a lot easier instead of doing it on your toes you can do it on your knees Well done, now is the last exercise and for that you've got side plank, toe touch variation. I'll let you know when you need to switch sides halfway. Wonderful, now it's time to switch sides. well done champ i am super duper proud of your efforts now it's time for you to rest for 60 seconds so grab some water and wipe off that sweat for the next round
up is the broad jump squat walking backwards. As you walk backwards, see how low you can go. are clap jacks. To make it low impact, step sideways instead of jumping. are inchworm shoulder taps to tuck jump now when you walk your hands in and do your shoulder taps see if you can try to keep your hips still exercise is plank knee to elbow then a kick through to make it a lot easier instead of doing it on your toes you can do it on your knees Well done, now it's the last exercise and for that you've got side plank, toe touch variation. I'll let you know when you need to switch sides halfway. Wonderful, now it's time to switch sides. Well done champ, I am super duper proud of your efforts. Now it's time for you to rest for 60 seconds. So grab some water and wipe off that sweat for the next round. First up is the broad jump squat walking backwards. As you walk backwards, see how low you can go. Up next are clap jacks. To make it low impact, step sideways instead of jumping. are 
inchworm shoulder taps to tuck jump. Now when you walk your hands in and do your shoulder taps, see if you can try to keep your hips still. The next exercise is plank knee to elbow then a kick through. To make it a lot easier, instead of doing it on your toes, you can do it on your knees. Well done, now it's the last exercise and for that you've got side plank, toe touch variation. I'll let you know when you need to switch sides halfway. Wonderful, now it's time to switch sides. Well done champ, I am super duper proud of your efforts. Now it's time for you to rest for 60 seconds. So grab some water and wipe off that sweat for the next round. First up is the broad jump squat walking backwards. As you walk backwards, see how low you can go. Up next are clap jacks. To make it low impact, step sideways instead of jumping. are inchworm shoulder taps to tuck jump. Now when you walk your hands in and do your shoulder taps, see if you can try to keep your hips still. The next exercise is plank knee to elbow, then a kick through. To make it a lot easier, instead of doing it on your toes, you can do it on your knees.
Well done. Now is the last exercise and for that you've got side plank, toe touch variation. I'll let you know when you need to switch sides halfway. Wonderful, now it's time to switch sides. Well done champ, I am super duper proud of your efforts. Now it's time for you to rest for 60 seconds. So grab some water and wipe off that sweat for the next round. First up is the broad jump squat walking backwards. As you walk backwards, see how low you can go. Up next are clap jacks. To make it low impact, step sideways instead of jumping. our inchworm shoulder taps to tuck jump now when you walk your hands in and do your shoulder taps see if you can try to keep your hips still The next exercise is plank knee to elbow, then a kick through. To make it a lot easier, instead of doing it on your toes, you can do it on your knees. Well done, now is the last exercise and for that you've got side plank, toe touch variation. I'll let you know when you need to switch sides halfway. Wonderful, now it's time to switch sides. Congratulations champ, you've just completed the workout. Now it's time to stretch those hardworking muscles so that they can recover quickly ready for tomorrow's workout. I hope you enjoyed this workout and if you did, don't forget to click that like button 
If you haven't just yet, why don't you subscribe and click that notification bell so that every time I post something, you will be notified. Have a great day and I'll see you for the next workout. Bye.